the three most important issues we are facing now, the first one is Iran, the second one is Iran, and the third one is Iran. Uh, the first one is, of course, the nuclear file. The uh, willingness of Iran to achieve a nuclear weapon, military nu nuclear capabilities, and we have uh, decided to stop that. Uh, and uh, luckily, uh, after eight years, uh, now we see eye to eye with the American administration. You know, I think, Steve, that the fact that Tehran now knows that there is no daylight between Jerusalem and Washington on that specific issue, and both are determined to, to prevent Iran from acquiring nu military nuclear capabilities, that is by itself a strategic change that uh, I assume worries Tehran very much, as it should. But Iran is not only about nuclear capabilities. Yeah, terrorism. Iran is about the, the, the export, the, the foremost exporter of terrorism in the world. And, you know, there is this ICBM, Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, that they are developing and testing. Make no mistake. They're they don't Israel. need, no, no, they don't need ICBMs to attack right, Israel. They, they need yeah. ICBMs in order to attack Europe and yeah. to attack the United States of America. Yeah. So it, should, it, should, it worries the president very much, and rightly so. Do you um, expect at some point the deal that Donald Trump has called the worst deal ever to be torn up because there's been conflicting you know, talk from his secretary of state and, and nothing has happened yet? And, uh, or is it all a matter of slow diplomacy? Look, you know, the problem with this deal and President Trump is completely right by saying that it's a terrible deal. Uh, we are saying it for years, for, for, from the moment it was signed and, and even before that. Um, the problem is not only what happens if Iran violates the deal. A bigger problem is what happens if Iran complies with the deal. Right. Because in 12 years, and here is the scoop, we, are in we intend to be around for 12 and 50 and 500 right. years. Um, then Iran can break out to nuclear capabilities without violating the deal. So I think the most important issue to deal with is what, we, what happens when the, after this decade. And uh, President Trump understands this perfectly. Uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu understood it long ago. And I suppose that in the coming weeks of month, I know that in the coming weeks and month, uh, the, both parties, America, the United States and Israel, will, will have intense talks about how to prevent Iran forever uh, from acquiring, for acquiring uh, nuclear capability. It was